Hey, what's going on you guys? You know what week this is? It's Espresso Martini Week. Not officially, like not real, but for us at Icebreaker Pro, we're gonna release four of them four days in a row. So for us, it's Espresso Martini Week. We are gonna start out with um, one called El Jefe. El Jefe in Spanish means the boss. And uh, so vamos a hacer el jefe, all right? Um, one thing I want to say about espresso martinis, they are not that difficult to make and super trendy cocktail right now. I've got a couple friends that own restaurants. Um, I think that restaurants shy away from them because they think that they're more difficult. It's actually a really cool cocktail. It gives you a little bit of a pick-me-up with the coffee and um, you use the right mixers for the flavoring and they are super good. The, um, the role that the Icebreaker Pro plays in making a top shelf, really top notch espresso martini is if you ever look at them in pictures, there's a little bit of froth on top. And then on top of the froth goes a little, the uh, espresso beans as a garnish. It gives it a nice little landing spot to sit on so that from a presentation standpoint, you get to give it to your customer, to your friend, whoever's visiting um, your house that night. And it's just a super impressive looking cocktail and tasting cocktail. So without further ado, let's start out with El Jefe, um, which means the boss. The last time that I made these espresso martinis, I got some um, flack because I used Kahlua. And uh, one guy in particular, and he'll know who he is, he owns a craft cocktail joint um, up in the Reno area. He told me, hey, uh, you really have to use Mr. Black coffee liqueur. Um, you'll get more street cred. And so this is me listening, all right? Well, because that's what we do as a community, right? We listen and we get better. So um, in this espresso martini, it is a uh, like a the Mexican version, and it's called El Jefe. So instead of vodka, we're going to be using Reposado tequila. So let's start putting this thing together. As always, we start out by inserting our Icebreaker Pro. That's going to aerate the coffee, give it a nice thick foam top. So let's go ounce and a half of Casa Amigos. Reposado, George Clooney, call me. Then we're going to go one ounce, Mr. Black Coffee Liqueur. It smells so good. You guys smell so good. And then next ingredient is just gonna be a cold brew coffee. And one of the things that restaurant owners have told me is, I don't have the ability to make espresso quickly in my bar. You don't need to. Just pull out the can, the bottled espressos, and typically those don't get a nice frothy foamy top, but they do with Icebreaker Pro. Then a little bit of agave nectar, about a third of an ounce. And that's it, we're ready to shake. Oop, would we forget some ice? It's a fast moving world. Nice little Parisian shaker. We have these guys in, see the froth? We have these Parisian shakers now available as kits on our website. Salud. El Jefe.